one last story. And this story is called Zen Pizza. How many of you know what Zen is? It's Japanese and simplicity. Good. What else? Peace, harmony, one with nature. Okay, that's what Zen stands for. A friend of mine, his name is Jack, wanted to start a restaurant. Now, today you can't simply start a restaurant. You've got to figure out a concept. You've got to come up with something different. You've got to make it work. It's got to be something that is unique because the restaurant industry is very competitive. So he came up with this concept, Zen Pizza. He was going to open up a restaurant on the concept of Zen Pizza. So he found a place. He found, oh, I can't see it now. Okay. He found a place in San Francisco and he found a particular cross area where there was an intersection and he found a location because in the restaurant business location is very important where he could put up his signboard that said Zen Pizza on both sides, which means that cars coming down this way, cars coming out this way, cars coming out this way, and cars coming out this way could see the sign. And he decided to open up this restaurant called Zen Pizza. And for the first week, he decided to face himself in this restaurant. He loves the food business, he's a chef himself, he likes cooking. He decided the best way to feel whether this restaurant has the ability to succeed is to base myself there. So he went and stationed himself there. The car was traveling, and the car came, saw the sidewalk, stopped, parked over here, the guy came out, walked over, crossed over the road, and entered into the restaurant. The person came in. His name was Mark. Mark came over and saw Jack behind there. And Jack says, good evening. And Mark says, good evening. And Jack stretches out his hand and shakes hand with Mark. My name is Jack. And your name? Mark. Well, welcome to Zen Pizza. And so Mark says to Jack, what is Zen Pizza? And, Zen, and Jack says, what we do is we take the freshest ingredients, everything that is wholesome and natural, nothing artificial. We take the freshest herbs, spices, everything that Mother Nature provides, fresh from the ground, and we put it on this lovely pizza. And here is a place that is in harmony with nature. So Mark looks at Jack and says, well, what do you recommend? Jack says, I recommend the house special. It will just melt in your mouth and you will just go through a delectable experience that you've never experienced in your entire life of food. So Mark says, fantastic, get me the house special. So Jack goes behind, puts the pizza in the oven. Several minutes later, comes out with the pizza. And he says, Mark, is that to go? And Mark says, yes. So he puts it into a box, he puts it into a foil covering to keep the heat in, and basically hands it over to Mark. And then Mark says, how much for the pizza? And Jack says, it will be $27. Mark says, great. Takes out his wallet. Gives him a hundred dollar note. Jack takes the hundred dollar note, smiles, smiles and walks Puts it into the cash 
register, closes the cash register, and says, thank you very much. Ma looks at him and says, Jack? And Jack says, yes, Ma. And Ma says, aren't you forgetting something? And, Ma, and Jack says, yes. Thank you very much. And do come back again. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> and Ma says, Jack? Jack says, yes. What about my change? Zen pizza, we believe that true change comes from the <laughs> The point I'm raising is the fact that I can't change you. Only you can change you. I can show you the principles, we can talk about areas, we can play some games, we can go through some exercises. But the change has to be something that you yourself want to do for yourself.